everyone welcome to topic of the day in today's video we are going to discuss about the china taiwan issue so recently the us house speaker nancy pelosi arrived in taiwan upsetting which china considers its own province so let us discuss a bit about the issue china views the us house speaker's visit as a serious violation of the one china principle and the visit gravely undermines peace and stability in the region and it sends a wrong signal to the separatist forces for taiwan independence in showing off strength china began its live fire exercises near taiwan strait these live fire exercises used by military personnel in which the live ammunition is used to create training conditions that are as close to real combat scenarios now there is a term called taiwan's porcupine doctrine that is to create the defense system exceptionally secure and safe as well as to invest heavily in anti air anti tank and anti ship weapons and ammunition now let us discuss what is the one china policy so the united states has maintained a one china policy since 1970s recognizing taiwan as a part of china but it has unofficial ties with taiwan as well a strategy known as strategic or deliberate ambiguity it is a policy of acknowledging that there is only one chinese government as opposed to separate chinese states now the us refuses to give in to the people's republic of china's demands to recognize chinese sovereignty over taiwan if we talk about taiwan taiwan officially the republic of china is a country in east asia at the junction of east and south china seas in the northwestern pacific ocean much of the world's global supply chain of semiconductors is reliant on taiwan taiwan observes october 10 or as said the double 10 as its national day Now let us discuss about the importance of Taiwan to China. In strategic terms as a territory over which China claims sovereignty, Taiwan is a crucial link in the People's Republic of China's maritime strategy centered on the first island chain. Now China is Taiwan's biggest export partner with an export value of 515 billion dollars from 2017 to 2022. The island is much closer to China than other islands and has been claimed by China since the nationalists were driven there during the Chinese revolution in 1949. Now let us discuss India's stand on the Taiwan issue. Firstly, India does not have formal diplomatic ties with Taiwan yet as it follows the one China policy. Now while following the one China policy, India has an office in the Taipei for diplomatic functions. there's an india taipei association that is headed by a senior diplomat also taiwan has the taipei economic and cultural center in new delhi these both were established in the year 1995 now let us take up one practice question on this topic consider the following statements first taiwan is situated at the junction of east and south china seas in the northwestern pacific ocean second china is taiwan's biggest export partner with an export value of 515 billion dollars from 2017 to 2022 third india does not have formal diplomatic ties with taiwan yet as it follows the one china policy now which of these statements given above are correct you can have a moment and write your answers in the comment section below so as we know all the three statements are correct therefore the correct answer is option d that is 1 2 and 3 only And with this we call it a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day. I hope you like the video. I will see you with some other topic till then take care and do stay tuned.